<laughs> Hello you guys, I wanted to let you know I've recently been vlogging a lot of my daily life, so I've decided that I'm going to start a vlog channel which is inspired by my sister. It's a place where I'm gonna upload a lot more frequently, whether it be cooking, home or room renovations, and of course, just standard day in my life style videos. So if you wanna subscribe, it would mean the world to me. I've listed it in my description below, and it's simply titled Ryland Vlogs. I've been having so much fun and I've filmed multiple videos already, but I wanted to let you know about that channel and I'm so proud of today's video, so I hope you love it. Hello, you guys. Good evening, morning, whatever time of day it is. Let me, let me just set the mood, you know, for us ladies. Okay, so recently I've been thinking a lot about like, whoa, with TikTok taking over the world, different generations and the seeming- You're just gonna let this go? <laughs> Yes, it's go. It's like catching on fire like the rest of the- What is happening? I don't oh my god! I just did my ah! You live in a fire hazard zone, okay. dude. Okay, I've been thinking a lot about different generations because I feel like with TikTok taking over the world, Gen Z is very in everyone's faces, making us question everything we know. And then I started thinking, hold up, we have three generations under one roof. Right? Can, why are you guys like hiding We're from just me? I'm <laughs> doing as a camel, to be honest. So I wanted to see if the three of us not only align with our generation's interests, but determine which generation is the best. Because we've got Gen Z right here. Um, objection. Are you, a <laughs> Are you gonna say she's she a cusper? cusper? Yes! It is called a zillennial and it is the cusper. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no! A zillennial? It's when you're oh. too old to be Gen Z and you're too young to be a millennial. What year were you? Oh my gosh, can you take a look, look at Cheeto? Look at Cheeto. Cheeto's like, what? A zillennial what is, I believe, love? from 1995 to 2002, okay? And do you know what that is? Someone was explaining yeah. it to me last week that it's like, you're too old to eat a Tide Pod <laughs> and you're too young. Yeah. To, I don't know, like stuff that old people like. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so what's your birth year? 1997. Year so, of the ox. Gen Z is the newest generation between 1997 and 2012, okay. which puts her right up in Generation Z. Can you look up Zillennial on that? That is not or real. You? Well, for today's purposes, we're putting Morgan oh. not on the cusp in Generation Z. Now I'm in the game. I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting. Now I'm collecting rent. And if you don't, if you don't align with your gen, well, well, it's my what? Gen. What is mom? Mom's a boomer. I'm a boomer. Here's the thing. Everyone thinks that their generation's the best, and I think that's why there's this unspoken rivalry. So I thought we could fight for our generations today, and we could do it through a series of- Are you young enough to be a millennial? Young enough? You're not a boomer? <laughs> okay, so let me see. Oh, is this here to be like an obstacle course? I would love to have an obstacle. Okay. Course. Okay, so to expose our true generational kinks. Kinks. I thought the best way could be by our shopping interests and what we purchase. So I thought we could go to Target and shop Target. in a different series of sections. I like Target. Maybe. Well, you're wearing skinny jeans. That's the ultimate Gen Z no-go right now. What? Both of you in your skinny jeans? Yikes. <laughs> Wait, you literally that to Okay. <laughs> no, no. See, this is why, this is what I can't stand Gen Z for. They're canceling <laughs> skinny jeans. They're canceling certain ways you park your I hair. It's I like, can't park my hair on the side. Well, I've had to do a slow transition, so I used to be like a full side part, but I'm moving See, the over. Knows. No, and I know Morgan's a Gen Z because she, she wears knows. those uh, those stupid, not stupid, okay. yeah, I'm going to say, those stupid glasses that don't block out the sun. Like sunglasses that don't block the sun, and then they're wearing these like little things that they pull down, so they're like, oh, my sunglasses are to look fresh as hell. So, I buy whatever do you even know the, what's the logic behind skinny jeans being canceled? Well, I don't think anyone actually is like living by that. I just think it's fun um, to be like, I don't know. Once again, we talk about that on our team meetings and they say, what? the side part is canceled, the skinny jeans are canceled. And I'm like, well then I'm canceled. Boomers have team meetings, sorry. <laughs> 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 okay, so I think, 
<laughs> I think what will really expose our interests and show our generational divide is by going to Target and shopping in a series of categories. Well, since I'm Gen Z, the real Gen Z thing to ask is, are we using your credit card? Because we always find a way to have someone else do the dirty work. <laughs> yes, we'll use, we'll use my credit card. But that's what I think, like, whatever's nostalgic to you inside of these categories are what you're going to get. And then we're going to battle it out with our products to determine who has the best generation and you guys can decide at home. So the categories are a movie or a DVD, candy, an item of candy, an article of clothing, cereal, a toy, and lunch or a snack option. So we'll go to Target <laughs> and we'll come out and we'll battle it out till death do us part. How long do we get at Target? As long as we want. Okay, we'll so, see you tomorrow. the glasses I'm talking about where they put them on they pull them down and then they're like in their car with their Starbucks yeah you would wear some go. dumb stuff but like this. you take the picture like this so you can see the eyeball <laughs> he wears these in the car sometimes those are from the dollar store in a video that you got and I like them because they block the Sun from all angles like well, it's yeah not that's the concerning in. part is that you like them <laughs> see I think Millennials <laughs> no Millennials like practicality not everything's a show practicality you have a kitchen that the oven doesn't work okay <laughs> Clocked. Let's go to Target. I've updated my outfit. I didn't know this you is what we You still have a tag on and it literally says oversized. <laughs> You're fucking Gen Z as it gets. Like me and my skinny pants, Morgan and okay, her oversized. I have, I have a lot of friends that will keep the tags on their shirt and one time I tried to pull a girl's tag on, she was like, no, stop because they keep the tags on so you can wear it once and return it and buy something no. new. I don't do that. I just bought this yesterday. Do you oh like it? God. And I also found these in my car. They're not the ones I would wear as of today. Well, also come this way with me, Chris. <laughs> now this is what I would argue is the difference between a millennial and a zillennial. We all remember this. <laughs> and honestly, I would sniff, but I wouldn't swallow, which is how I feel about a lot of things. Just saying. Okay, so I've done brief breakdowns of our generations and I wanted to see if you guys think that we agree with our generation stereotypes. Well, did you factor in the fact that I'm a millennial? No, <laughs> you're a Gen Z for the sake of this video. Okay, so we'll start with the boomer. Do you wanna read some of your traits? Are they good? Well, I don't know. Boomer, they rejected and redefined traditional values. They are also the wealthiest, most active, and have the most disposable income for food, apparel, and retirement programs. They are clever, I like this. They are clever, resourceful, and strive to win. Okay, so this is the, this is, <laughs> wait, hold on, no. The oh, last bit okay. of this is they have closed-minded opinions, are resistant to change, whether, it's, left it's, that out. whether it's new, <laughs> new technology <laughs> or gender inclusivity, inclusivity, are generally out of touch with how their behaviors affect other people. And I think it's, you guys just grew up in a different generation. Not mom, I think mom's a woke legend. Well, she has a gay son. Thank you. Oh. All right, so mine. Okay. Millennials are natured and pampered by their parents yep. who didn't want to make the mistakes of the previous generation. Millennials are confident, ambitious, achievement oriented. We challenge the hierarchy status quo, frugal, confident, and fun fact, we're the most educated generation in Western history. But that means we're also super in debt. We were of the generation that was very like, you've got to go to college, you've got to go to college, where like Gen Z is like, you can get education in Take so many different you. realms. I hate to flex, but I'm the most educated person here. Yeah, you are. I'm not gonna lie. I agree. Wait, are you gonna say if those are true about you or not? Yeah, I think they're all true about well, me. Where's I think the negative whoa, whoa, whoa. parts of you? How come my yeah. had a negative Frugal. Frugal. Frugal, you are not what? negative. <laughs> Where's the name? The only way that you and Frugal would be in the same sentence uh, is if not is in the middle. <laughs> I also made these. <laughs> what? <laughs> then how is that fair? Okay, what's, okay, a, what's a Gen Z? Okay, well mine has an ethical, morally serious generation. They demand their brands to speak to them. Short attention span, thrifty and up for the challenge. Optimistic, can educate other ways than college that's spelled wrong. <laughs> That was me. Oh. <laughs> so, so a a the thing is, boomers, they say they're Here, the most I want wealthy, to keep my paper, but that, is that in comparison with the projection to what the Gen Z will be, or is it because they've been on this planet for a thousand no, years? No, I think a boomers fake news. No, 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 financially. <laughs> 
Do oh. I not have my phone? Oh, yes, I do. It's right here. So, I thought we could have our first debate being marriage. So, Ugh. boomers got married <laughs> on average from 18 to 20, millennials 30, Gen Z. They're saying they never want to get married. I'm all for getting married. I'm ready to like pop out six kids, I swear to God. Well, I guess I will definitely be getting married in my 30s. And mom got married when? I was 21. It is interesting. And for me, I, I'm from Utah. All of my friends were already married. Are you going to get married, Morgan? Like you're fine with getting married? Oh, I totally am for getting married. Would I have a big ceremony for a wedding? No, absolutely not. If that many people were staring at me, I would not go. Because what, an average person spends maybe 20 to 40 grand on a wedding? That just seems ridiculous to me. I would rather buy 200,000 things of coffee yeah. than spend 20 grand on a wedding. Yeah, I think the whole thing goes to finances though for Gen Z. I feel like they're like, with divorce rates being so high, they'd just rather not commit to a person. I believe in true love. Same. Well, I'm signing a prenup for sure. <laughs> So we've made it to Target. I Thank guess you, I Captain <laughs> Obvious. <laughs> oh, do we need some sunglasses in the dark? Well, well that is very Gen Z of you. Like, <laughs> yeah, this would be like Tana showing up at Boa Steakhouse, like, oh my god, not the paparazzi. I didn't call them, I swear. <laughs> okay, we all have our lists. Get one of each thing on your items. We're going to film ourselves. So you have your iPhone? Oh. Morgan's got her vlog camera because she's a Gen Zer. She knows what's going on. She knows how to self-promote. I have my own channel, thank you. <laughs> Morgan's <kidding>. vlogs. <laughs> All right, ladies, let's get to swiping some cards. Okay. <laughs> do you want to do an intro with the blue sky? Because it is really pretty. Maybe we should pretty. just get like a, a really fun, dramatic walk. Okay. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. I don't really need that that sick go. Really, I don't really need that just sick go. Really, I don't really need that that sick go. Really, I don't really need that 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 that. My glasses are fogged up. <laughs> Generational texting. Mom, voice to text. Oh yeah. <laughs> like yeah. mom does the like. Beep. Hi, how are you doing? Question mark. So, it's so easy. Let's see. I always click the little microphone and I say, Ryan Morgan, respond to me. What is your problem? Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> How does he and respond? then the punctuation. <laughs> it says, nice day, Ryan Mugen. Respond to me. What's your problem? <laughs> so then I do this. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I was doing the talk and text thing and it didn't work out <laughs> so well. Oh, I got a text. See, that's me. Oh, it's from... <laughs> Oh my god. Hi, millennials. I don't think Gen Z's would watch this events, right? Yes, Whoa. I did watch that, and they predicted many of the horrific events that have happened in our country. We're not allowed to see what each other are buying, ladies. See you later, clowns. What if I get distracted? Okay, so I need a movie or a DVD or candy. Okay. Um, oh, I love sweatpants. Oh, maybe a graphic tee. Wow, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is like not for the thing, but I love Animal Crossing. <laughs> I think I just want that for myself for right now. <laughs> the enemy is straight ahead. Okay, you can go follow her now for a second. What do you have so Do far? I know you? <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll tell you what I'm doing anyway. So for my clothing item, I thought baby socks because everyone in my generation loved the show 16 and Pregnant. Right? <laughs> was that in my... And it's like a wave of teen pregnancy. People don't use protection in my age. <laughs> Not for me, but for a lot of people that has left the chat. It's a pop socket has lip balm in it. Okay, I actually want that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, wait, what is on my ass? <laughs> you just have a bag like, full of things. <laughs> yeah, I'm shopping for me. Well, I guess I could look for a toy while we're here. Oh, I know what I want. Where would your mom be said? Okay, I was thinking that my one favorite thing in high school was always a hoodie, honestly, and it still is. I still love hoodies, just it's probably my favorite thing. This Target really doesn't have very much because it's under construction. So, oh wow, look at this. Wow, 
That's great. Sexuality and different generations. I feel like millennials were fine with a sex tape or sexting their partners. Whereas mom's generation, it was like, you gotta stay private about your sex life. You don't talk about your sex life. And Morgan's generation's like very comfortable with their nudes being everywhere. Speak for yourself, Mr. Leaked. <laughs> That's, okay, that's what I've learned. I will say one of the biggest lessons that I've learned from you, I will never send a nude because I'm not ready for that. I, if the, my nudes got leaked on Twitter, that would be the end of me, 100%. Who do you think has the most stuff so far? Definitely not my mom. <laughs> She's very slow. Empty basket. <laughs> but I have a basket, so I have a plan. I get a little distracted by home goods. That's gonna be... <laughs> Wow. We should just buy something crazy like a toilet seat and show it dry. Well, I just found this. It reminded me of you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, but I... Well, okay, the, the enemy is near. Get away from me. Don't look at what I'm buying. Yeah, <laughs> no, you gotta go away. I didn't know we were enemies. Well, in this challenge, we are. You just can't see what I'm purchasing. Okay, you know what? Super soakers were truly a thing of my generation. Doesn't get more millennial than this. I'm loving it! <laughs> What was Rylan and Morgan's favorite toys as kids? Well, Ryan always liked to play with Morgan's Barbies. <laughs> for real. And, you know, he'd act like, oh, I'm just doing this for you. I'll just, you know, fix up this Barbie. But really, he just, he loved playing with the Barbies. <laughs> How you doing? I know that I'm like a hot commodity, but... <laughs> so I don't nice. have the tea. <laughs> oh, God. This is it. This is it for me. Does this count as a snack? If you're me, it definitely counted as a snack. Oh, I also love these. I would get a Lunchable, but I feel like that's really obvious. All right, ladies, here we go. Lunchables was the name of the game. I love the pizza. The nachos was such a staple. You gotta have them. I think I have everything. You're, you're done already? I'm done. Do you think your brother and mom are done? No. If you go to the store with them, you'll be here for five hours. <laughs> I found one thing. You haven't found anything yet? I haven't found anything? Well, where's some board games? I, I can't find Did enough. Find it? Here's what I want to look at. This area. Ooh, like, I want that wreath over there. I like the plant. I, how are they not done yet? That's what I, we've been, I've been chilling for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Do you think wine counts as a snack? It should. Really? <laughs> okay, here's my my snack here. And... For a conversation with anyone, I'd like at least one. Say that? I said I'm too scared to talk to people. Being scared to talk to people is very dense. <laughs> so I'm doing something on generations. What, what category do you fall in? You're a millennial? Mm -hmm. And do you think millennials are the superior generation? Of course. <laughs> Yeah. Is this your daughter? What yes. What would she think? No, no. What do you think? <laughs> she's going to think that she's, she's super shy. Okay, yeah. Which is funny because like you have a Generation Z, but we're still like millennials are the bee's knees. I No, I really think so though. <laughs> like, <I> really do. <laughs> like she doesn't know anything about a pager. She doesn't know how cool we used to be. Hello, like millennials rule. I'll, I'll follow you right now. What is it? Her daughter was shy like me. Yes! <laughs> That's so funny. It's a Gen Z thing! <laughs> so there's a recent study that says millennials and Gen Z do not eat bones with their meat. Hell no, I don't do that. That is some carnivorous wrong, unpractical, not worth my time business. Are you sure that's not a personal preference? I am not slurping a bone. <laughs> no, I think it is because with like your mom, for instance, Ooh. there's nothing she loves more than, than slurping the bone, the <laughs> veins of it, the oh, fat of it. If there's a terrible. piece of fat on a meat, I'm like, I you gotta go to a terrible. different state My now. grandma gets the rotisserie chicken and she rotisserie. just sits there and picks it apart like you wouldn't believe. She loves to get Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I'll say, mom, can I get a mashed potato bowl? Well, Vicky, there's no reason we need to do that. Yeah, yeah she gets getting mad. a whole meal. Grandma won't let us get KFC unless you get the family style bone in chicken because she wants to. I'm not. If bones are meant for dogs. Okay, let me pour my wine. 
so that we can get ready to party. Just say a couple things real quick for me first. Okay, so we're back from Target. I think we should start with our The DVD. fact that I have a black eye because I dropped my phone on my face this morning. That is very Gen Z of you. So that we're not the only ones just trying to decipher for ourselves who has the best generation. We're pulling each item on Instagram stories. Wait, 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 yes! wait, 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 wait. Okay, well, probably... and no, I have a wide okay. variety of all ages. I think it's pretty fair. I, I doubt you have more boomers than you have yours. Uh, they probably have new Can boomers. we just try the cereal that I bought? <laughs> okay. And... All right, we're gonna start with DVD or yeah. movie. No, they didn't have any. They didn't have any, Ryan. You know what? This Target literally canceled DVDs. DVDs are no longer anywhere inside of here. This Target was so, it was a maze in there. It was like literal mousetrap because it was under construction and I asked two different people, do you have any movies? And they were like, eh, we have like three. Very limited. I don't know what any of these are. Okay, well, did you pick a movie in your head? Mine's a Cinderella story with Hilary Duff and Chad Michael Murray. That is pretty good. Mine is Angels in the Outfield. This was like my happy place. I would watch this Aww. every single night before you I went to Austin bed. You and Austin love Because it like put you in a good mood. I've never heard of that in my life. What? You didn't watch it with them at all? No one invited me to these events. Mom, what's your favorite, what's your movie choice? Aww. Well, I would have to say When Harry Met Sally, but. When who met who? <laughs> Any Lindsay Lohan movie back in the day was a bop. Like the Freaky Friday, Parent Trap. Well, you can only stick with one. Okay, I pick a Cinderella Aww. story. You're not very pretty and you're not very bright. Ah! The next category okay. is candy. Okay. Hell yeah, brother. This is the candy that I'm choosing, right? Because when I was in middle school, this is what you would get at the movie theater. And then after you ate these, you would like catch up with like who kissed who at the movie theater, who did what at the movie theater, but these were always a staple. Middle school movie theater, if you went with a boy and he got you these, shit was going down. I knew you were gonna get Sour Patch Kids. These aren't Sour Patch Kids, that is so disrespectful. It's Sour Punch Straws. Rollos are where- Mom, no, you have to pick- <laughs> you got raisins? I'm shocked you didn't get Swedish fish. Oh! <laughs> Who the hell reaches for a Rolo when they're hungry? I kind of do. Which one? I do you think I bought one more. Even hold on. She just wanted candy. candy. We oh the Easter. The problem is Easter candy is <laughs> out. Are oh, honestly, I love Easter candy. Oh, so excited. Okay, you gotta pick okay. one. I would say these are the ones I remember you eating as a kid. When I, do, I was a kid. Yeah, uh, none of the kids love these because they don't like black licorice. Okay, but... let's. Here you go. Is there a wine I want to try out my straw? Why didn't anyone invite Ariana Grande to come? Because she's not interested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. She's busy. Okay, That's article of clothing. My... Mom. Mom. Okay, my favorite thing to buy is. A hoodie! <laughs> Even hey, in high that school, is on trend right now. Even in high school was to buy a red hoodie. Hey, but they didn't have a red nice. one. I'm looking for a hoodie, red one particularly. Look how soft it is. Wow, it is very nice. I know. I went for something more of my generation. Okay, so I also found this MTV shirt. <laughs> because this is back when you had to watch MTV to see music videos. It was that like, yeah. I remember when our parents used to leave, he would turn on Britney Spears on MTV and be like, you can't tell anyone. <laughs> MTV also inspired my fashion choice, which is baby socks, because I think 16 and pregnant was a real oh. uh, generational thing, and also did a lot of pregnancy prevention. I also, for fun, for today's generation, I got an Animal Crossing shirt for myself. <gasps> Where did you find that? Okay, well, I speaking of that, Animal this, is, this is not related at all. You bought something for yourself on my card. No, I bought something for mom on your card, and they're <laughs> Animal Crossing oh, socks. Oh, it's <laughs> Isabel. Maybe I'll get the votes on this one. Well, no one's gonna understand what mine means. Do you think this is one we can even get votes on? No, because it doesn't. It's a it's too convoluted. Preference. They would pick the hoodie though. No. Everyone loves a hoodie, right? Okay, so next, cereal. This is important. I have to say, if I was to buy cereal for myself, I would probably buy Frosted Mini Wheats. So that's what we'll do. <laughs> Why is that funny? 
That is such a mom. I mean, I'm, I would eat it. I would eat it, but it's not what I would choose. If I was at the store, it's like, if it's in the pantry, you're gonna be like, all right, all cakes. But it's never something you're at the store and you're like, this is it. Ladies and gentlemen. There's probably a hundred cereals in that aisle, maybe more. I mean, and she picked that. I have to say, this is what I'd buy, this or oatmeal. But Ryan has oatmeal. Okay, we'll buy this. All right, say mine. You can't go wrong with cookies for breakfast. Cookie crisp. Cookie crisp. You liked that? Oh my God. <laughs> what did you get, Morgan? Well, once again, mine's gonna win. This is annoying because and I it do even feel has like... a little Gen Z touch to it now. Reese's Puff, but they have little Yachty on them. I got little Yachty's Reese's Puff. Is he a Gen Z? No, he's a rapper. I know, but why oh. are we saying Gen Z? <laughs> Is he like popular on TikTok or Gen Z himself? They laughed at my um, cereal. And then I was thinking like, okay, I should get the regular ones because I grew up on like the Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puff, peanut butter chocolate flavor. But then I was thinking the only person that would buy a box of cereal with little Yachty on it is someone that's under the age of 25. I don't know what category this is. So but... young people literally talking about the little Yachty cereal like as we walk by. So I think you're right. <laughs> yeah, little Yachty. This is going really bad for me. Let's try it. I used to take these for a snack at work too in a baggie. I'm gonna say. Dry. Want some? Mm-mm. I guess I only buy cereal for grandma. She only wants Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> you losers are going down on this one. Millennials I'm taking the cake. Oh my God! What? Okay, <laughs> is that a Princess po a Pocket Polly? A Princess Polly? A is it a Polly? <laughs> it's a Polly Pocket. Those were legit. Polly. Okay. God damn it! But can you see them on her face? It looks like they gave her a lot let of me Botox. See, let me see. She did not used to be this snatch. They gave her makeup I and Botox. I loved Morgan's Polly Pocket. Let me see. I, I loved the it. Polly Pockets. Okay, while well, you dress Polly, let me show you what I got. This okay. is like I'm not kidding when I say like everyone. It was the explosion of I feel like millennials' childhood. Where the Razor scooters were the millennials' version of hoverboard. The ultimate millennial gadget. Kicking it around. Like, that is an ankle slicer. Are you kidding me? Like these things, you're riding down the street, you lift up, you kick it around, and keep on going. That is that actually was pretty legit. Oh that my was gosh! Legit. I remembered. I and think they, I had that same one. Wow. Look at this. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's the same makeup. It's the very everything. same. If this isn't nostalgic for all of you hoes out there, then you guys are clowns and you need to go to jail. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh, Ryan, okay. Wow. Oh, I'm okay. so excited. Let me see if I can still do the little kick. You know what they are? No, but don't oh do it. Oh my god, he's freaking me out. Uh, okay, I can do it right here. So mm -hmm. go. And there goes the ankle. You're kidding me though. No, that's actually a pretty good one. I will say you might win. Mom? This was my favorite game when I was young. Look at this. I love that. I can't wait. That's actually really cool. Yeah, this is something I did in high school that I loved. Listen, okay, listen, Okay, Pac-Man is fun. Sorry. That's pretty a legit system. I know. Do you want to show off your Polly Pocket? Well, yeah, but she's a little jealous now of her competition. So this is Polly, and she even now comes with a dog. Aww. All right. Okay, snack. Mm. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Mom's got a classic snack. Okay, we'll get this one. Okay, here's my snack. <laughs> I brought out Lunchables. Oh, uh, you guys love those. That one slaps. The nachos too, you know. I didn't like those. I got oh! hot cheeto. This is it, 100%. Brand. These aren't even my favorite snack, but I think they're like a statement of the youth. Those are very delicious. Delicious going in, not so hot coming out. Well, they are hot coming out, but it's not a good time. <laughs> All right, we'll check in with the results and I'll tell you guys which generation won. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna have a stomach ache tonight. <laughs> That's what I think.
Okay, so now we're gonna see the final results of our Instagram poll to determine who has the best generation based on what we bought at Target. Wow. Oh, a Cinderella story won by 4,000 votes. Woo! But there again, okay, so what's, the won. Age, what, what's the age of your audience? Think of that. Okay, so Morgan won the movie category. The candy category, good, oh, oh wait, no. What? Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. <laughs> Only oh, 200 gosh. people voted for the Canadian what is, thousands. What is the age of your audience? Okay. okay, so the cereals. Oh my gosh, Morgan won again with the Reese's Puffs. <laughs> oh. oh, you guys lost me with the Razor Scooter though. I won the Razor Scooter. Woo. All right, I will give you that I one. That was I a pretty good win. one. And then the mm. Hot Cheetos one too. At least they got a little closer though. The wine got a little closer. Okay, I, so. I'm what, not gonna lie. What, okay, so one, two, I won four out of five categories. And I won one out of the five. But how many people my age are watching you guys? <laughs> yeah, I guess this isn't totally fair, but it was a fun experiment. It was. I it hope. Was. I don't know. I think there's pros and cons to everyone. I don't think you can group a generation. Except I am um, Gen Z, who is the most educated generation. Well, my generation was the only one with a negative. Well, and that's what I will say too, the world evolves and learns more. And so like my generation learned from your generation and then her generation takes from our generation. And then the generation before you or next comes after you will have the most information. Okay, you guys, I hope you had fun watching us battle it out for our- individual. I hope you guys had fun watching me clown all of you <gasps> and me losing. Hopefully it brought you some nostalgia. You had yeah, fun. Yeah, it was all in fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and <laughs> supporting uh, all of us. We love you very much. Goodbye. Sayonara, peeps. Bye. Don't forget to care about your mother and your grandmother. And subscribe to all of our and, channels. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Oh. People started saying, okay, boomer, in like a really negative context. I've decided to enjoy it and embrace it. I don't, call me a boomer. I don't care. You know? <laughs> and that's the tea. And that's the tea. Tea. <laughs> <laughs>